Welcome to News Long Beach, a news talk TV magazine produced by Voice Waves. I'm your host, Andrea Sulsona, publisher and editor of Palacio de Long Beach, the only bilingual magazine in the city. Thanksgiving is November 28th, and it's time for turkey and too many meals. But not all, not all families celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday in the same way. While American history paints a rosy picture of the pilgrims and Native Americans, the truth is a little more complicated. Voice Waves reporter Michael Lozano recently spent some time with the Quiche Gabrieleno Band of Mission Indians, a tribe native to Long Beach. Let's take a look at the video. <laughs> My, my first response is the same as, you know, the majority of Americans is it's a time for family reflection and to be thankful for um, our health and to gather our family together to celebrate. Um, however, when you bring in the Native American point of view, it brings in a very different aspect. It's a reflection of the loss of our culture. It's a reflection of abuse. It's a reflection of losing identity um, through the years and subsequently us having to find our culture again. So when thinking about that loss, it can be very saddened for us. However, in where we are today, as we're rebuilding our culture, we can think more positively on that aspect of our past. Many sacred sites still exist, particularly Long Beach. There's a lot of history here that the people don't know and that uh, the Gabrieleno Quiche still lives. We are, we are here. Many of our history had been lost through the years, but now we can see doors opening. This area here is an ancient village site of our people, of the Kich people, called Purungna, which Purungna means the place of the cotton ball, round cotton ball tree. That's what it means. It was also known as the area of the gathering place because this is where all the rivers, all the trading routes met here, where we would do our bar bartering trading of food and we would have uh, our blessings here and give thanks to the creator for the food that we have been we've traded they also exploited land resources deer and rabbits and so on from the land but they also exploited the sea heavily as what you're seeing on the ground here is the remains of the food things the food stuff that the gabalone people utilize and uh, obviously these shell fish came from the sea, and the gabarillo had a very effective, what's called a broad-based subsistence system. Uh, so that's why they're able to live here for thousands of years in, in uh, extremely good harmony with the landscape. And it was only after Europeans came that that harmony was disrupted and led to this megalopolis that we're existing in today which unfortunately hasn't preserved the beautiful original landscape that we have. Also, Bolsa Chica is another sacred site. Very, very sacred. This environment, uh, wetlands, was very important to the ancient Gabalino Kish uh, culture because there's so many food items here. This is what we're talking about. Our people came to these wetlands here to hunt and gather. And right here we would gather shellfish, mussel. You'd boil those, and you, you've had mussel, right? And then we would also gather and make shells for our necklaces, for our jewelry. My grandpa, his father, he taught me how to fish areas like this, you know, or riverbed, with just your hands. Like I showed you right there, how to get the mussel out of the ground. Underneath that mud and underneath these wetlands right here, underneath those weeds, there's mussel, shellfish, abalone, everything that we were taught as young boys, my grandpa, how to, how to fish and gather food. Back over there in the rivers, the rivers that the water would come from here, we would, uh, we would hunt for a crawdad, yeah, crawdad, and then we would hunt for fish just in the woods, in the in the in the uh, sides of the banks of the from the plants. 
to the to the fish. Everything was here that you needed to to supply your village, to supply your people, to feed your kids. That's why us, our, our people, the native Indians, this is why we're, we're everything that the Creator has given us here on Earth is so sacred. We respect everything. I myself do not speak the language, so right now today we are uh, working with learning our language and teaching our kids the language. I keep it going today because I feel in my heart that we owe it all back to our great grandfathers and grandmothers who at one time were here and suffered. We have not seen nothing compared to what they went through. So that's why I do what I do today. Because them, and I honor them, and they will always be in my heart. We, we would like everybody to come to this area here or to ever area where a, uh, the Gabrieleno exists and learn our history. Thank you for that report, Michael. Uh, what was the biggest thing you learned uh, from this video? Well, I would say from working on this video, I mean, like, I spent so much time uh, working face to face with these uh, indigenous persons, and um, they just remind me of the fact that it's important to honor your parents, mm -hmm. to honor your ancestors. And that's something I, I never really understood until I actually did this project. So it became very personal for me, and I realized that, like, you know, people that came before me struggled for me to be, for I could be where I'm at, where, where I am today. And that's something I never really understood until um, I was working with these folks and hearing their history. And it really inspired me to learn about my history as well. Well, thank you very much. Um, if you want to find out more about the Keech Gabrieleno Band of Mission Indians, you can go here.